Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. This is my Puerto Rican brothers and sisters. Right. Then they gave you a Puerto Rican flag and said, hey, nigga, have at it. Right. We gotta wake up. Read. Yet, if they shall be, think themselves. Here's the point. Um, what you mean, Lewis? Lewis and Kenneth. If you be think yourself, meaning remember who you are. Read. Who in are. the land, whether they were carried captive. Right here in Chicago, in Puerto Rico. Read. And repent. That goes back to your point. And repent. Repent means to turn back. Turn back to what you were doing first. You were keeping God's laws first. We left that to celebrate Puerto Rico and Puerto Rican Day Parade and sin. You understand? We love our sin. But now, you love your sin, but now you got to stop your sin and come back and do what? Repent. Let's find out what that means. Read. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them which carried them captive. So wait a minute. Look down. Look down. Well, our Puerto Rican brothers carry captive? Yes! So you gotta do that right here. Make supplication, you know what that means? That means confess with your mouth. Earth. Lewis, Lewis. Yes, yeah, point to it, yeah, that's it right there. Confess with your mouth to the one true God. Your sins, not to me, not to the brothers of purple. Confess to the one true God, read. Saying, we have sinned. Every last one of us have to, have to admit we have sinned. Kenneth is in the midst of sin. You're in the midst of sin. You're in the midst of sin. You gotta repent. We have sinned and we have done perversely. Kenneth has done perversely. I've done perversely. She's done perversely. You've done perversely. Well, what we gotta do? We gotta humble ourselves and be sincere and repent. Read. We have committed wickedness. Every last one of us has committed wickedness. Read. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies which carried them captive right here in Chicago and in Puerto Rico read and pray unto thee towards their land where's your land at Ken um Kenneth where's your land no. the brother said my land hasn't been revealed to me yet that's right you know why let me tell you why Galatians you don't know why you know, I know why because you're in the midst of sin now What's your land? Because the Bible says pray towards your land. What's your land, um, Lewis? What's your land? Huh? Puerto Rico ain't your land. It's a colonized land. Am I right, man? Wasn't Puerto Rico colonized by USA? And they gave you that name? That's why y'all have citizenship. Because y'all have a commonwealth of America. That's it. Guess what? Check this out. That's why y'all always argue with Dominicans in New York. Tell me I'm wrong. Because y'all think y'all better than them because y'all have citizenship over them. Me too. I'm a New Yorker too. So I know. I know how y'all do. Y'all always go at it with Dominicans. Read. The book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 27. Now, listen to us. Kenneth, do it. Listen to me. Here's your homeland. Since Kenneth the pastor don't know it, how to take Coach Cap. He thinks he don't know how to break down his, his uh, homeland. We're going to show you what God said. Read. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Hey, Lewis, did you hear what the Bible just said? And he's, 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 he's a pastor interrupting the word of God. Wow. Read it again. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. You know what Jerusalem is? Northeast Africa. It said Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Now you know your homeland. Your homeland is not Puerto Rico. Now, second answer. Your homeland is not Puerto Rico. You was, you, 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 was, you, was, you went there and then Conquistador came and enslaved you. But you have an origin before Puerto Rico. Your origin is Jerusalem. That's your homeland. Kenneth, that's your homeland. Now, say what you gotta say. Now, don't go to win. Say what you gotta say. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, what about Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Yeah, first, first John 2. How do you know Jesus Christ? What's the, what is the stipulation in knowing Jesus Christ? Is it, I asked him a specific question, right? I asked the pastor a specific question. What is the stipulation in knowing Jesus? Go ahead, tell me. How? How? How do you get born again? Give me, give me, okay, he said he got the Holy Ghost, right? But he said it wasn't revealed to him his homeland, right? Give me John 14 and 21. Bring it out! Bring Give me John 14 26. So now, let's see if he got the Holy Spirit according to what he said or what God said. Okay, let's see what the Bible says. Read. The book of John chapter 14 verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will see in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Wait a minute. It said the Holy Ghost is going to bring all things to your remembrance. Did you know your home? Did he know his homeland? Did he know his homeland? So wait a minute. Does he have the Holy Ghost? No! He ain't got it. According to what God said, he ain't. Read it again. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. You don't think that should include your identification on the earth? Yes, sir. What you got to say about that, Kenneth? I'm a false what? Now, as a false prophet, Say, say it again, say it again. Give him a hand, y'all. Give him a hand. Give, him, give Lewis a hand. Lewis identifies who the false prophet is. You're a false prophet, man. You're a false prophet, y'all. Hey, we came right out. Hey, false prophet right here. What's your church? What's your church? Are you, are you a pastor? I'm not a pastor. This guy makes you You act like you're a pastor. Well, the truth. You know the truth? What is the truth according to God? Come on, brother. What we're showing is our people are, are destroyed and are something greater than a Puerto Rican. You're holding a flag that you're greater than. Think about that. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Oh, you Judah. Why you got a Puerto Rican flag? Because of Puerto Rican Day? Oh, your girl. Your girl made you hold the flag? Here, nigga, hold the flag. Where she at? What she doing? Where she at? She at the gas station, she coming this way? All right, now watch what the Bible says, watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, you know the church? Sometimes, right, sometimes, not at all? Okay, why, why not? Okay, good, because church is teaching you lies. They don't teach out of the Bible, they teach out of their own feelings. Watch what the Bible says. The book of Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Bible says the black man on the earth, the Hispanic man on the earth, he is holy. Holy means set apart or different, separate. That's what the word, huh? No, I'll, I'll, show, you, I'll show you in a minute, read. Unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. He chose the black, I'm gonna show you, he chose the black race the Hispanic race to be special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. I saw your face when it's bread dead. Have you ever heard that in church? So you don't think that's kind of weird that these things never come out in church that you're supposed to be greater than all people? Give me Deuteronomy 28. I'm, now I'm going to show you that that's talking about you. Did this happen to your forefathers right here? That happened to my forefathers too, right? Now, Let's see what, you think that's in the Bible? Right there? Why would that be in the Bible? He, he said, why would that be in the Bible? You know why he asked that question? Because hey, of church. Joker. 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 You ever heard of, you ever heard of some, a word called prophecy? That's Bible prophecy. Now we're going to prove it. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 20. You, you, are, you are Hispanic, right? Hispanic? Puerto Rican? My man. Now, what we're, gonna, what we're showing our people is, you're the greatest people God ever put on the earth. You too. You're the greatest people God put on the earth. But now, why you think we're not huh? Puerto Rican? I, yeah, I'm going to show you why. Because you're, you're greater than being Puerto Rican. God never called you Puerto Rican. Look right here. Look. I know, I know. 
look, 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 look. Yes, I'm going to show you. Look, look down. Did this happen to Puerto Ricans? Look. What y'all call Puerto Ricans? No, look, look down. Look, just look. This history right here. Did this happen? Huh? Are these your forefathers? Did that happen to your forefathers? I don't know. I'm going to have you write it down. Okay, good. Good. Because I'm going to tell you that happened to your forefathers. That happened to your forefathers and my forefathers. So when this happened, guess what? They weren't being called Puerto Rican. You understand? I don't understand. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody called me and told me you were talking shit about Puerto No, I'm, I'm, edu I'm educated. I'm educated. Because right, right. look, look, I'm showing you you're greater than what you've been called. Puerto Rico came from slavery. After they conquered that land, called conquistadors, Europeans called it what? Puerto Rico. They called it Puerto Rico. But what was it before Puerto Rico? I have no idea. Okay, so uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm showing you. So it's not an insult. It's to wake you up. No, I, Read. I hear what you and it say. shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Bible said if we don't keep God's laws all these evil things are going to come on us and they're going to overtake us. I, I, I do. I don't want to hear all that. I want exactly. I'm not out here for that. I'm not out here for that. I'm out here to bring you the Bible. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you. Jeremiah said, no, 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 no. I'm not out here to give you what I think. I'm out here to give you the Bible. No, I, no, I'm not. I'm telling you what the Bible says. I'm not here to tell you my knowledge. I'm here to tell you what the Bible says. You ain't got nothing to say. I'm here to tell you what the Bible says. I don't have nothing to say. But God got a whole lot to say. That's good. What you got to say, sir? Just like you don't want to be knocked. Go ahead. Just like you don't want to be knocked. Say it again. We don't want to be knocked either. No, no, we're not God knocking not you. Purpose, no, right? we're showing you. Do not be 76 again. No, you're better than being a Puerto Rican. You're, you're better than that. You're better than that, sir. You're going to have a problem. You're better than that. All right, no. You better be better than that. Huh? Uh-huh. No. No, that wouldn't. That wouldn't. Did, what, what does Jesus look? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh-huh. I'll still tell him. You would still accept him? If he was a myth. Now, should we go by what the Bible says he looked no, like? No, no. no but you wow. 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 I know what he looks like. Revelation 1.14. You You seen Jesus? What does he look like? He was tall about six feet two. He was tall about six feet two. Go ahead. And all, all the disciples. To get in the water to be baptized. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me repeat so everybody can hear. Jesus was about six feet two, and he had his disciples with him, and all his disciples said, Hey, Kenneth, get in the water, get baptized. In a dream now. I don't want nobody to be the Okay, go ahead. Keep going, sir. Keep going. And then he asked me, and I was afraid to get in that water because I was looking at the position of the once it got to be uh-huh, uh-huh. I was scared to get in there, and he said, if you don't get in there, you, you don't have eternal life. I debated with him about twice. Then the third time, I yielded and got in the water, in the dream. When I got out, they dried me off in white towel and wrapped me in the, in the sheet. He said, now you're going to heaven, and I woke up. Oh! No. You, you just said he was sitting How he look? He, uh, hold on, he was trans, man? No. Hold on. So you seen through him? No. no. I, I said, first of all, I told you he was about six feet two. Okay. Black, All right. Black, white, yellow, green, orange, red. Transplant. 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 That's a lie. No. Get Luke chapter. No. Get, get Luke chapter 20, bro. Somebody get this real. Come on. No, hey, get, get now. Hell now. No, man. You bugged out, man. No. Hey, hey, the whole audience. The audience online, listen to me, listen to me. The audience online is saying you bugged out. You said Jesus is a transparent. 
Hey, look, even the, look, I'm sorry, listen to what, what the, what give me Luke chapter 24 by 39. What color is I mean, Luke 23. What color is that? Color is that? Okay, there ain't no cup. So hold on, hold on. You know, you know, you know Jesus Christ got a description in the Bible, right? But, but to you, in your dream, he was trying, look, man, Luke 23, bro. The, the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 39. Now, look, hold on, hold on. Pastor, listen to this, Pastor. Pastor, Pastor, listen, Pastor. Listen, Pastor. Behold my hands and my feet. Now, listen here. This, this is what I'm going to. I want you to understand. Listen, this is Jesus Christ. But look, what color is the right? What color is the right? Look, look, what color is the right? Man, hey, look, what color is the right, man? Right. It's just scattered the Bible. It's just scattered the Bible. What color is the right? Listen to what Jesus said. Listen, listen, listen. Behold my hands and my feet. What color is Jesus Christ's hands and his feet? What color is his hands and his feet? What color is his hands and his feet? Look, you older than me. And I'm a young man. And I, uh, you look like you're probably about 70 something. Oh, okay. But look, man, come on now. Now look, I'm, all right, look, I got one thing right. All praise is I got one thing right. I know I got the color Christ right too. Is he black or white? Look, is Christ a black man or a white man? I know. Is this why we can't move ahead as a people? Because we, we still got 74 year old elders. And I love and respect my elders, but we still got y'all 74 saying that Jesus Christ is transparent. Give me Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. First, he said, behold my hands and my feet. Now give me Daniel 5 real quick. Come I'm going to tell you what color his hands and his feet is. Jesus Christ said, behold my hands and my feet. Because you're trying to say Jesus Christ is a spirit. If somebody coming to save you, how do you identify your savior if you don't even know what he looked like? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we're men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.